Hello, this is Cho of the Shiny Colors Discord. Welcome to another episode of The Shiny Review. Today, we've got two new cards to talk about. We have the new Produce SSR for Yuika, and we have the new Support SSR for Mono. Keep in mind that both of these cards are limited. They will not be returning once this banner is over, and the only reasonable way to get them will either be through paid-only tickets or through paid-only step-ups. So if you want your copies of either of these cards, now is realistically your only time to go for it. So starting things off then, we have Yuika. So Yuika here is a pure dance card, which means we get to see how this fares for Dance Antica, a team that has been kind of in a weird limbo state for a while, and has been considered maybe the weakest of the three teams recently, so maybe this card will do something for them. Yuika's initial appeal is a dance 4.0 that raises your dance by 30% for 4 turns and duets randomly with Antika. This has a plus appeal, which requires the full Antika lineup and your current mental to be below 74% health, which applies another duet of Antika, meaning that she is technically a double duet unit if you are able to fulfill the mental health requirements. The upgraded version of the appeal is a dance 5.0, that raises your dance by 60% for 4 turns, duets with Antika randomly, and the plus appeal has the same effect and requirements. A duet with Antika if your mental is below 74% and you are running the full Antika lineup. For her passives, the first passive is a dance 60% up if it's turned to her earlier and has a 35% chance to activate once. Her 2-star passive is a dance 100% up and attention 100% up if your mental is 75% or higher. It has a 25% chance to activate twice. Her 4-star passive is a dance 130% up and attention 50% down that requires your mental to be 74% or lower. This has a 30% chance to activate twice. In total, her dance uncap when maxed out is a plus 400. Her memory appeal when maxed out is a dance 3.0 appeal that links into an additional dance 3.0 appeal. Yuika is a very powerful addition to Dance Antica, and might just be one of their better cards right now. Five-member teams need duets in order to keep pace with the stronger three-member teams, and double duet, despite the potential huge drawbacks, such as getting the wrong character on the duet, or getting the wrong character twice off of double duet, this can in turn dictate the pace in an impactful way. She acts as a bridge for the early and late game with her passive setup by accommodating for her plus appeals with her early passive to facilitate getting hit and her secondary passive once she's taken enough damage. Ideally, Dance Antica need at least one more new card at the same level as Yuika to be extremely strong, something that can either instantly reduce mental with a change appeal to have a double duet on turn 1, or an improved Kogane or Kiriko who provides some sort of mental reduction on appeal while still being relevant. Her inability to stall in a stall-focused team like Dance Antica is a bit concerning, and without a way to reduce her own mental, accessing her double duet is more dependent on getting hit over manipulating self-damaging effects. She's a bit of an aggro card in a defensive team, which will either shift the paradigm of the team or find itself getting lost a bit. As a center, her strength is fairly low. While a 6.0 is certainly fine, there are better things that Dance Antica have access to that isn't just a generic 6.0. So I would give her a B as a center, and an A to maybe A plus as a unit. A little bit lower than my songs collection, Yuika, but still a very powerful card. And this card could very easily go up a letter grade or two, at least like S minus to S, if Antika get that support momentum that they're hoping for. So then we have Mono, who is a pure vocal support, though... She has some abilities to buff up dance and visual, just not as much as vocal. Her masteries include Unit Mastery SP, which reaches plus 15 at level 75, otherwise plus 12 at level 65, plus 9 at level 50. Vocal Mastery Stamina, reaching plus 4 at level 80, plus 2 at level 70, plus 1 at level 5. Vocal Stay Mastery, reaching plus 3 at level 80, plus 2 at level 70, and plus 1 at level 5. And lastly, Excellent Boost, which reaches plus 8 at level 80, plus 4 at level 65, and plus 2 at level 55. For the rest of her kit, her initial appeal is a Vocal 2.5 that raises your passive activation chance by 5% for 2 turns. The upgraded version of the appeal is a Vocal 3.5 that raises your passive activation chance by 25% for 2 turns. With her passives, she has a Vocal 50% up and Dance Visual 30% up, 
if it's turn 3 or earlier, and has a 20% chance to activate twice. Her 2-star passive is a vocal 120% up alongside a dance and visual 60% up if Mono is in your skill history. This has a 20% chance to activate twice. Lastly, she has a vocal 100% up if you are in the center position, and it has a 20% chance to activate once. Mono is a really solid support for Vocal Illumine, fitting in right at home with Twicole Meguru. Her masteries are good, but are heavily unit focused, meaning you'd need to narrow down who you use this Mono alongside. She's not an aggressively generic vocal support, she is very much for Vocal Illumine, or Illumine focused support builds. The passives are excellent for teams that can float a Mono on your team. Really, the biggest issue is that there is not a particularly good vocal mono at this moment. So, this can easily rise in value for other teams if we do see a vocal mono sometime soon. But considering that mono has not seen a produce SSR in over a year, she's either due for one very soon, or she's not getting one ever. I don't know what's going on with that. Again, I think this card is super good for vocal Illumine, and is absolutely worth picking up if you have cards like Twicole Meguru, or even some of the other vocal supports, like the New Year's Meguru support to pair alongside this mono. I would give this card an A to maybe A+, potentially a little more, depending on, again, if that vocal mono ends up making Vocal Illumine that much more powerful. So, that will do it for the video today. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Next time, we'll be talking about whatever banner comes next, so let's look forward to it together. Also, I gotta say here, I was very surprised at this Fest animation for Yuika. The change up in the bangs, I honestly did not even recognize it as her initially. It was very surprising. I think it's neat that we're seeing more hairstyle changes in a more surprising way. Cards like this and the Natsuha with her hair cut short were uh, big surprises compared to just styling it up a little bit differently. Anyway, till the next video, I've been Cho. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.